Welcome to the Whiskey Bowl. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. This is a re-review, but we did this on episode 48. Right. 48. So what this warrants- a long time ago. What warrants a re-review? Well, it's a rebrand. And since then, they've won other awards. Is it a different uh, whiskey, though? And it's, it's the same whiskey, but it's a small company. Small, small. It's a small. It, it's accessible, freaking everywhere. Looking for flavor drift. I have oh, the th original bottle okay. that we reviewed right here. Oh, wow. Okay. We, so, that's all we drank of it. That's how much we loved it. So yeah. hold on. Wait, wait. Is there any color difference? First of all, I think we um, need to be in a glass before we can tell that. This is a gift from the magnificent bastard Brian Lovato. Brian Lovato, you may give it, bastard. <laughs> Okay, and look, someone had mercy, sent me a new baby. Oh, I'll put, I'll take that one too. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, this is brittle. Can't guard it all the Did time. Did you see that? Yeah, it, it flaked up. Yeah. Okay. I just needed to get access to the little tab that wasn't coming off. So the new one goes in. Go for color, go for nose. You said it's winning stuff, okay. Yeah, I want to look at the little label now. The new bottle says, we won 2018. Oh, this is the one. Oh, it's different it says, branding. we won, now, yeah, it's different branding. Well, in terms of the branding, it's got more pop. They lightened up the background color right. of the label. So it, yeah. Okay, so. This label, it was just kind of all blending together. This is the old one. Gee. So keep track. Yes. Right, and this is the new one. Yellowstone Bourbon. This is a Beam family bourbon that's not a part of Beam, the name that everybody knows for whiskey, like Jim Beam. Dude. Right? This is a revival brand. All right, just on the nose. Oh, it's different. Yes. It's not insignificantly different. Yes. And the older one's denser. Hmm. So... Older on the left, newer on the right. A lot more complexity for you, yeah. A lot more complexity in the nose of the newer one, but a lot more density no, in the not, nose of the old one. Okay, so density means old, it's new. basically it feels smells heavier, more concentrated. Right. But I actually like the nose on the newer one a bit more. Vibrant and yeah. a little more spicy, a little more herbal. Yes, yes to all those things. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, honestly, if you went blind, I would probably say these are different whiskeys. Same category. Right. So remember, these guys are producing whiskey. They're sourcing it from someone. It's possible it's Heaven Hill. Um, the density, yeah, it is more of a... It's now a Lux Co. It's got more of, so on the old one, the, the, the original one, more of like a concentrated oakiness. Maybe maybe a little sandalwood in there, but it, it's, it's drier, I think. Denser and drier. Yeah, just on the nose. Yeah. I'm gonna take my first sip. I'm gonna take my first sip of the new one. Okay. Because I want that one the freshest. Yeah, a little bit herbal, little oaky. Yeah. A little sugar. It feels very classic. Classic caramel bourbon. Yep. Brown sugar and slight wood spice. Then a finishing with the... Uh... Not a grain spice. That's true, it's wood. Um, yeah, and, and uh, some of those bourbon fruit notes on the finish. That's just kind of what fades off into the sunset. Old one has a hint of uh, condensed like cherry note that the new one didn't have. Yes. Wow, this is the, the biggest new, difference between it the is. two. No, this is a definitely, definitely a drift. Um, the newer one, though, mm -hmm. has more layers. Yes, I agree. I like the newer one's more complex. Yes, it is. And, um, you know, the, the older one's not bad. Uh, but if you're looking for, you know, I mean, they're both things going on. Like bourbon. Bourbon yeah. territory, yeah. right? We're, but, we're squarely in the middle of the bourbon. Which one do you like the new one better? I mean, yeah, more complex, yes. Yeah. What do you prefer to drink? Uh, so, so far I'm leaning towards the newer one. Me too. Yeah, it's a little bit more, a little more a little zesty. Bit more zesty herbal, a little bit more spiciness in there. I'm gonna add a little water just to the new one. You want some? Mm -hmm. New one? Yep. Yeah, well, it's very little water. But yeah, it's very just a couple whiskey. of drops. Hmm. Du, 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 Wait, you're waiting for the thing du, du, to, do the, to do the thing. Du, 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 How was your weekend? Good. Yeah? I think good. Yeah? Yes. I was trying to remember what I did this weekend. I don't remember. Uh, I drove to San Antonio. Yeah. And back. 
picked up some antique furniture that I bought from an auction. <laughs> That's good. Sunday. Let's see if we can just bore people to death. <laughs> I know. I. Uh, so well, what'd you do on Saturday? Uh, you know, trying to trying to potty train my my daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hit hit and miss. Hit, hit and miss. miss. Hit and miss. Okay. Does she get the sense of urgency, or no, do you get the sense no, of we're urgency? Trying to, we're trying to bore people. Right there, that was too much animation. Oh, okay. You just really, like, okay. yeah, so. Uh, so, what's your ratio of hit to miss? It's about 50-50. Oh. Um, and we basically interrupt her cartoons. Okay. Put it on pause. So, hey, let's go try and potty. And then we can watch more cartoons. Okay. We do that. Many times. You use like a monetary reward system too? Uh, marshmallows. Ma Ooh. Yeah. How would she do on the marshmallow test? Uh, no, she'd fail the test. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not old enough to be in the age range that they tested the kids on. <laughs> right. That's no, more no, no, like... It's getting too lively. It's getting chill, too live, too animated. Okay. Um, and uh, if she ever has um, an accident, like a giant steaming load, mm. then uh, we were very clear that you're not getting the marshmallows. Oh. Because you shit yourself. <laughs> I think, I feel like that's a rule that could apply to all, all ages. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you shit yourself. <laughs> no you don't marshmallow. get any marshmallows. Because yeah. <laughs> that's the rule. <laughs> all right, we got some comments. Yeah, but I'm going to try are, a sip of the water these now. These are both squarely classic bourbons, but it is interesting to see. Oh. You don't have to go hunting. It's not something that, because sometimes they'll do like a drift comparison. And it's like, well, maybe I'm projecting a difference, and we're like, not. maybe like a five to ten percent margin of error, and I don't know. But this, this is definitely different. Yeah, uh, your new one with oil water, and now it's just brown sugar with wood that's oaky instead of spicy. That wow, that tiny totally bit totally changed it. I mean, it was a tiny bit of whiskey, but a tiny way bit of better water. without the water. Unless you love that really dense brown sugar. Note. Brown sugar with an oak wood finish. Brad Plam. Do you ever get different notes when nosing a whiskey, depending on which nostril the glass is under? Yes. I found that one side is more of the softer smells, predominantly like vanilla and brown sugar, and the other side is um, sharper notes like mm -hmm. wood and citrus. Has to do with airflow. It's not magic. And, it, and they're both going to the same place, by mm -hmm. the way. So, like, once they bypass this divide up here, there's the no divide. Hole. Yeah, but what it has to do with is the shape of your nostrils and how air flows through to the sensors. Which is one of the many, many reasons why uh, any type, kind of taste experience, sensory experience, mm -hmm. super subjective, man. People mm -hmm. are just equipped differently. Uh, For me, it's right nose is always better at everything. My nose, Left nose is yeah. iffy. I'm pretty close on both. There's mm -hmm. not a dramatic difference. I keep a second nose in my armpit just in case, though. It's my backup nose. <laughs> Unfortunately placed. Yeah, well, you know. Dale Hoffman, I would ask you uh, to give a toast to my wife, Denise, who passed away unexpectedly uh. on Monday, 11, 9, 20. I've watched you for quite a while, and Denise found herself sucked into the vortex of the whiskey vault. Of course. Her favorite comment was, why doesn't the big guy let the little guy finish a statement? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> What's her name? Denise. Her name is Denise. Denise. We will Denise miss, understands me. We will miss her yeah. wildly inaccurate ball busting. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, cheers to her and her life. Cheers. Yeah, I can see why we weren't in love with this original one. Yeah. This new one, I like more. I agree. But it's still not singing my heart song. No. Yeah, it's nicer. Right. And I can absolutely see why a lot of other people would really dig this. Uh, but uh, my preference is like, you know, a little bit more off the beaten path than what that's delivering. Me too. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver tar. And if you drink, may, may you drink with us. The Bottle Lord. The Bottle Lord. You could do it. I couldn't remember where it was. Da, 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 Scale the cliffs of Mordor. Brandon Lang. Take our word for it. It totally says Brandon Lang.